Felix, what do you think about the Canapino's performance? I think it's been really good. Uh, I mean, he never drove a Formula car before coming here, so I think we all knew that he is a great driver. He's a multiple champion, and uh, the championship in Argentina is very competitive. Uh, I know for a fact, and I have some friends who have done races here, and they say it's super difficult. So, uh, yeah, I'm not surprised, but it's hard. I mean, I know how it is to come over here and learn, and it takes time, but he. he doing very well and I think a lot of people are surprised. I think he's done a wonderful job this year. You know, I think uh, it's hard to come into this, uh, you know, not having a ton of open wheel experience and competing against a lot of good guys. But even here, you know, at Indy, I think he's done a wonderful job. And, you know, this first race for him is going to be about learning. You know, this is a lot to uh, to understand with oval racing and I'm sure he'll, uh, he'll do just fine. I think it's really good. He's impressed everyone so far. It's, uh... Really fast, I remember in Texas, he ran the high line around me, which I was very impressed with. What is the most strong of, of him? Um, I think his ability to get into a new car. It's an open wheel car, which he has never done, but also, uh, you know, it's an Indy car. It's a bit different than, uh, than the TCs, but I am very impressed. I think he does very well to get used to a new car. Man, he's been so fast. Very fast and a uh, nice guy. I like talking with him. Um, and man, he's learned English so fast. He's fast, he's good, and he's uh, not making mistakes, which is awesome. What do you expect for his future? I mean, he's good enough to be here, so that's for sure. I, uh, you never know what will happen in the future, but he's definitely making a, a good name for himself. And what is the most strong of him? I don't know, I think just that he hasn't made mistakes. Don't make mistakes, and that's really good here. Uh, he's done an amazing job this year, I think. Like, I, I can't say that I know a lot about his racing history, but he's had a really, really impressive year. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's doing a fantastic job. Obviously, uh, you know, come from the great experience of touring cars, and uh, uh, I'm sure for him it's a big eyes and open in the probably more speedway. But uh, no, he, he's, he's done a great job so far. Ah, uh, yeah, he's been doing uh, really well. I think you know, especially coming here for the first time. But you know, even in Texas and a lot of the uh, the road street courses, not a lot of not a lot of testing in uh, any cars. So for him to get up to speed uh, so quick has been uh, it's been really impressive to watch. Hey, what do you think is the most strong? In Canapino? Well, I think uh, just his adaption, you know, I think it's been really good, you know, throughout learning uh, the different, uh, you know, ups and downs of IndyCar racing and, you know, especially for us because, we, you know, street courses, road courses, short ovals, you know, super speedways, so there's a lot to take in. Now, considering, obviously, he's very, very talented race car driver, did a great job in GTs and uh, in Argentina, it's amazing um, having never driven an open wheel car, what he's been able to do, come here. Uh, you know, on the road course side, on the oval side, I uh, got, got a lot of respect for uh, for him as a racing driver. That's for sure. He's just been very consistent everywhere. He's been, as we say, punching above his weight, and um, you know, he's had to learn a lot in a very short amount of time. And doing that on ovals is not a not a very straightforward experience. So he, he did a good job. Very good job.